Now that you've signed up and signed into ThingSpeak, you get started by working with ThingSpeak channels. A ThingSpeak channel is a place where you store your data. Each channel provides eight fields to store any type of data that you want. You can store sensor data, maybe from a temperature sensor. There's also three dedicated location fields to store latitude, longitude, and elevation. You can use this to track a moving sensor. There's one more part to a ThingSpeak channel, and it's the status update field. The status update field allows you to send a little bit more information with your sensor data. You can say things in a status field like you left your lights on and your light value was 76. So to get started, all you have to do is create a new channel. Once you've created a ThingSpeak channel, you can name your channel, provide a description, and even tag it. You can also provide its location, the latitude, longitude, and elevation. You choose whether or not you make your channel public. If you make it public, other people can find your channel and access your data. If you don't make it public, your channel is private and only accessible by you. You might have made a really interesting ThingSpeak project and you want to share more information. So we provided two ways in order to do that. You can provide a URL to your blog or maybe a website that explains your ThingSpeak project and also to a Vimeo or a YouTube video. Remember those eight fields that you have inside your ThingSpeak channel? You can also provide a custom name for that field so you know what you're putting into each one of these fields. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use test for field one. Once you've made changes to your channel, click update to save your channel. Now that we have a ThingSpeak channel going, you can see that it's created an API key. We've also provided you information on how to use the ThingSpeak channel and how to send data to the ThingSpeak channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this using a tool called Poster. Poster is an add-on for Firefox. And it's really great for troubleshooting web services that accepts HTTP posts and gets. The first thing you want to provide in Poster is a URL. And I'm going to use the URL that's already provided by the help information on, the, on your ThingSpeak channel. The type of content that I'm going to provide is called Body from Parameters. Now you get to write your content for the request. Every ThingSpeak update request requires a key, and this is your write API key. And I'm going to take this right from the channel information. In order to put data into field 1, I'm going to tack on and field 1 equals 123. When I send this request to the ThingSpeak API, it's going to put the number 123 inside of field 1 inside of my ThingSpeak channel. So in order to send this request to ThingSpeak, you click Post. If everything was successful, the ThingSpeak API will send you a status of 200 OK. The API will also tell you your entry ID. So if I go back to the post, I want to send another, another value, I can send the number 124. If I click Post, I'm going to send the request and you can see the status is 200 OK and this number is now 2. There are two values inside of our ThingSpeak channel. Now that I've shown you how to put data into a ThingSpeak channel, you're probably wondering how to get data out of a ThingSpeak channel. Well, there are two ways to do that from right here. What you can do is click View Charts, and we'll generate a chart of your field data. And as you can see, we created a chart with two data points on it, 123 and 124. If you remember, those were the values that we sent to the ThingSpeak channel. From right here, you can do things like customize what this chart looks like. You can do things like provide a title to the chart, customize the color, the height and width. We even generate a little bit of code for you. You can take this right here, copy this code and drop it right into your website so you can show other people your data that's inside of a ThingSpeak channel. Another way to pull data from a ThingSpeak channel is to use the ThingSpeak API. Right here, we have provided what an API request may look like. If you click More Help, we'll show you all the available options in order to pull in ThingSpeak data. There's different formats that you can pull in, JSON, XML, or even CSV. This is what a request URL looks like, api.thingspeak.com 
slash channels, your channel number, feed, and dot the format. These are the three formats you can use. If you have a public channel, you don't need a key. If you have a private channel, you'll need to provide the key in order to receive data from that channel. This is what a ThingSpeak API request looks like when you're trying to request the JSON feed from your ThingSpeak channel.